so now moving to the next process like what uh, uh, they used to do previously like traditional process what how they were they used to do this traditional process for the pain so uh, how they identify the problems in the brw uh, car, brw so major is like i am telling you we code voids and puddles so voids if i briefly uh, explain you what is voids voids is like the bubble air bubble so when the complete body going into the tank that time sometimes air traps will be there air traps will come and that area will not covered with your uh, electrolysis solution which was, which was in a pain booth so you have to identify those problems voids physically with the prototype by cutting the parts second is pedal so pedals i will explain like what is pedals is like when your vehicle coming out of the paint solution tank that time some extra extra paint will be there so that that paint if that paint is there remain there on those metal parts then exactly the extra paint when it comes out of the tank that time with the in the own process extra paint that will give like a very uh, bad appearance of the vehicle so they used to do prototype vehicles and then cut this section apart if you see this uh, image here right side so they cut apart and measure the manually the thickness of this prototype vehicles are equated to observe no paint and turn out problems and the enclosed areas of the vehicle are cut apart and film bits are manually measured to identify regions of no paint or thin paint problem so you you will get uh, uh, from the figure like uh, how they are going to do but uh, if we talk about this process manually it's very expensive and time consuming as you know it is very difficult in the prototype stage itself and in the current market it's everyone is competing in the competitive market everyone want to get the, their vehicle launch very soon so it's very expensive and time consuming <clears throat> also if we talk about the industry expense and uh, oem manufacturers so it's not very easy to have num more number of prototypes because if you cut uh, for example if you take a 10 prototypes and the time required to analysis this kind of things to identify the problems of the paint or the measure the thickness it's very or uh, destructive method so nowadays uh, what what is currently uh, industries are following is like to do the process uh, in modern way like uh, we have now uh, the computers everywhere so with the help of software we can do the pen studies virtually and give a analysis to the software paint engineers. So I'll explain this now. Uh, these are the visualization software which are used for the analysis of paint volume. So how we'll be seeing in the next slide, like with the case study as I told you in the agenda. And uh, this virtual paint solution will help plan and validate manufacturing in will ad advance because as you know in the industry BRW also design uh, the stages will go in the same time same time the paint engineering same time the assembly will happen so all the all the 500 or 1000 or 10000 engineers work simultaneously then only that product will uh, is getting uh, launched very soon so in the design stage as well we, we, if we are designing the BRW BRW is the body in white in the metal parts so that time itself, once the data is getting freeze, maturity of the design data getting freeze, that time itself, paint engineers simultaneously work on it and uh, identify the problems in the design stage itself. For example, if the vehicle is taking time of four years launch and you are starting your work before four years, because you have to launch that product with everything like purchasing and supplier and uh, all the other departments of the industry. So. This is starting a very initial stage. How? So engineers can now detect the problem using CAD data in the virtual world. So you, you will get the data from the design engineer, PD engineers basically, those are the product design owners. And you, this point of thing as a paint engineer, virtual uh, digital paint engineer, if you are talking about, then it's like your duty to 
do the analysis of those panels which are coming forward and uh, getting validated by USL. So how they are going to happen is robotic simulation. Those are the mainly used to under understand the required thickness and the actual uh, problems before prototype. So as I said earlier, like prototype earlier slide, prototypes will take a huge time and very expensive and uh, OEMs will not uh, generally afford more prototypes due to the cost issues. So moving forward, like robotic simulations, this is uh, application like we can say so uh, modern trend uh, robots will be placed in the software and uh, the, the programming will be done and they will measure the thickness so what what you have to do is like uh, to understand the design panels and where are the issues paint specific like uh, there are so many issues in the paint engineering paint defects you have to identify how to do that and how to overcome that problems with the help of softwares and uh, give feedback to the software engineers to identify it and get a solution earlier. So if you see here images, I have shown some, these are the paint booth images, uh, some robots are applying the primary colors. And this is the one second image is the oven where the temperature is maintained and then is the robotic applications. Okay, so if we talk about this solution, uh, virtual solution, uh, there in the design stage is very cheaper compared to the prototype which uh, is happening in the traditional process. So this virtual paint solution improve the design before physical vehicles are launched. So actual vehicle before actual vehicles coming into market production line. So this design feedback, paint engineers will give back to the body engineering team and body engineer will do the iteration, modify the design as per the paint defects to uh, overcome the paint issues and reduce paint defects. Body engineers will modify as per the paint engineer's observations. The accuracy and efficiency totally depends on the experience level. So it's not we can say like fresher can directly uh, jump into the uh, industry and directly start uh, doing this thing because when, unless and until you know the basic things, uh, the accuracy and efficiency of virtual paint solution will be uh, like uh, depends on the experience level. Okay, now moving to the uh, case study, automotive case study, which is very interesting topic. I will give you uh, the blinks how generally the industry engineers or uh, the actual engineers who are doing this virtually. So as I told you earlier, eco voids and puddles are common issues occur during eco application. As you see in, in the video, when vehicle enters in, into the tank, that time it's uh, like uh, chances are like air bubbles will be there and uh, vehicle cavities will form. That's the void occurs during eco application. Yeah. And the second is like puddles. So this is case study based on oil and uh, puddles, or you can say drainage. Basically, to avoid the corrosion, we are analyzing these voids and puddles so that the future problem should be less. So when the puddles or drain occur, when there is excess of eco liquid when vehicle uh, moving out of the tank uh, solution, which we have seen, the trap in the cavities, vehicle cavity due to improper design, or you can say sometimes whatever, if you take an example of a, a hood or boning. So that time in vehicle, sometimes inner panel and outer panel, there will be some surfaces where the paint solution will be uh, stable there and it will be extra paint when even though the vehicle comes out of the tank in the horizontal position it will be there and this will create a puddle, uh, a puddle occurs so that we have to identify virtually with the visualization software and it's possible same way we can identify the air bubbles with the voids so it's like a very uh, a process is like a very, uh, little what you can say experience uh, uh, depends on the experience you will be analyze, analyzing like how how the issue where where the issue will be there in, in the panel exactly where it will come so you have to apply different other methods in industry wise if, we talk, if i talk about like every industry have different uh, biw uh, entering and uh, uh, out of that tank angles so it depends like bmw or we can say Ford have different standards, BMW have different standards. 
likewise it depends industry to industry so we need to understand here like how to identify it so we'll move ahead like the softwares which will identify the regions of voids or the air bubbles on the metal part so and the drain form in a complete body in white if you got the position to represent the entrance horizontal and exit position with respect to virtual world so this process we have to do in the software uh, as this is only the overview so i'm not able to cover it uh, practically but yes of course we can do with the help of softwares uh, this is a fully automatic process and calculate the locations as well as volume of air bubbles in process. So automatic when you get the result, you have to um, highlight those issues back to the body engineers. You have to apply different different angle, angles like decline position, incline position. Also, uh, you have to make sure like uh, uh, these things. Just a so you, you have to understand like these the issues must be captured and earlier and not get highlighted back so that the quality of product or the manufacturing issues will be very less and the product will be quality. So we'll move to the next slide. What are the merits of virtual paint simulation? So paint analysis gives report with surface area calculation. So as I said earlier, like void and drains. Similarly, we can do the surface area cal calculation of a particular surface. We also do the eco paint volume requirements in the virtual software itself and give that to the industrial engineer to get it uh, on the process and production line and uh, similarly design engineers to the modification of the AW panel simultaneously because whenever whenever we find like here is the uh, white is going to be a problem and this cavity will be going to press with the uh, visualization software then body engineer will look into it and get it to uh, redesign and again send back to us to the next iteration so this is continuous process continuous cycle data freeze until the data finally get freeze Virtual paint study, white and drain, as I already explained, like this will necessarily generate in the BRW panels. Then thickness analysis, so complete body, complete BRW body in white thickness analysis report of uh, we can send to the paint specialist for the further understanding and to avoid the mistake. Thus, the, finally, it's like it's perfect for the protection on each and every vehicle, each part, every area should be covered and mainly major area should be covered like which is visible to the customer if we talk about the car time and cost saving solution then definitely compared to the traditional process it, it is a very uh, cost saving process it will allow also simultaneously for development engineers to improve design based on paint engineer analysis and to do the modification earlier before it is going to be actual uh, to the supplier so these are the some merits of the virtual paint simulations. Going to the next slide. Now the final part is like what are the careers here and what are the job opportunities in this point of view. So as you know, India is the fastest growing country and uh, government also, you can see the news, government also planning to have a number of uh, investment, if you say foreign direct investment is more from the other countries, Europe countries and other basically globally. So they are going to invest in India uh, as a, it's a very good market, you can say, after China. So huge number of opportunity will be there for qualified technologies or specialists uh, in the paint area. MNCs, if we talk about the auto industry or furniture manufacturers, consumer durables, construction industries, everywhere paint is required. So if you are a very good specialist in the paint, then definitely the opportunity will be there. Then the digital manufacturing solution. So if we talk about the now time and cost saving solution. So if you analysis it and feedback it earlier design stages so that the MNCs will are doing this in the digital manufacturing solutions. This will be the good cost saving and uh, time saving solution. So digital manufacturing definitely there is a scope. Research and development. So new product development definitely there will be the opportunities for new product development. 
and the manufacturing planning so if you plan in advance like uh, uh, you know like these are the going issues going to happen you if you know virtually these are the issues and so you will take care of those issues earlier and make the necessary design modifications so that you know your product will be very quality and the issues of the paint like void and drain or eco or surface area or the thickness and the paint cost will be saved so these are the opportunities mainly available not only in india but outside also paint specialist required more yeah so that's it from overview of the paint technologies